All right, so our theme for 2020 is one another. And obviously we got thrown off a little bit with COVID and all of that. But as we, as we return back for the second half of the year, I want us to really, again, refocus our hearts on one another um, and, and how important that is. So our monthly theme for the month of June is to instruct one another. And our verse for the month is Romans 15, verse 14. It says, I myself am satisfied about you, my brothers, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to instruct one another. I recently, just a week ago, put up an article on a quip about the necessity of the local church. And, and the point of the article was to say um, that God has created us for community. Uh, we do not thrive spiritually in isolation. And God has created us in such a way that as followers of Christ, we desire to be together. We desire to be in the local church and connected in that community of the local church. And part of the benefit of that is that we grow in that environment. We instruct each other. We encourage each other. We help each other. We pray for each other. And that's why that is so essential. You see, if, if I never have anybody else speak into me, if no one else encourages me or helps me or teaches me spiritually, and it's just all what I think and all what I understand and all of my own opinion, then I effectively become God. I effectively become my own God full of all of my own information and just a silo uh, of what I believe and what I understand. And that is not healthy. I mean, even myself as a, a pastor, you know, I get preached at. I don't get preached at every Sunday. Um, you know, I, I'm the one preaching, but I need to be preached at. And so I've got to be intentional about listening to other pastors and going to conferences and putting myself in places where um, I am being taught and I'm learning and I'm growing as well. Uh, when we don't do that, it's so easy for us to become prideful, to become arrogant, uh, to become divisive when someone disagrees with us because we think we have all of the knowledge um, and all of the truth. And that is not how we're to be. We're to be instructing each other. We're to be learning from each other. And here in verse 14, it gives us two conditions um, as we are instructing others. The first is that if we were to instruct others, we must be full of goodness. We must be full of goodness. Now, this doesn't mean that we're perfect because we're not. We're sinners. We mess up. Uh, we, we, we are not perfect. Uh, but if we're going to instruct others, we have to have a, a life, a pattern of consistent Christ-likeness. Uh, you know, if your life is characterized by sin, if you're in unrepentant sin, if you're, if you're living in that, um, if your heart is characterized by anger or by bitterness or by jealousy or divisiveness, then, then you're not in a place to effectively be able to instruct others. Uh, even if your head knowledge is right, even if your head knowledge is good, your heart corrupts that knowledge. Uh, and so as we look for those around us who we want to instruct us, we want to teach us, we should be looking for people that are not perfect, but people that are modeling Christ-likeness, that are pursuing the character, the holiness, and the love of Christ in the way in which they live. And we should always be ready to learn in humility from those people. And to say, speak into me, encourage me, and help me understand and know God in a greater way. The second condition is that we must be filled with all knowledge. Now, this doesn't mean that we know everything. This doesn't mean you have to have a PhD in theology uh, to be able to teach others. But it does mean that you have to have some sense of what you're talking about. Uh, you know, we, we live in a culture that has no idea how to be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. I mean, our culture is, is slow to hear quick to speak, and super quick to get angry, right? But that is not what the Bible prescribes. That is not wisdom. Uh, we, we have to be uh, the kind of people that are willing to do the discipline of learning, the discipline of studying, the discipline of reading, so that when we speak about something, we instruct on something, uh, we are doing so with knowledge. We're doing so with a holistic understanding of what we're talking about so that we can do so effectively. And so as you're looking for people to instruct you, look for people that, that walk in that wisdom. Look for people that speak with knowledge, not just headlines, not just clickbait, not just a, you know, one point ripped out of context, but people that come with a depth of knowledge and understanding of the issue. And as we're teaching others, uh, we should strive to be in that way as well. We should strive to have that knowledge and understanding for ourselves as we present truths and help others to spiritually grow. So what does this look like in the local church? What does it look like to instruct one another practically? Well, it might look like engaging in a small group. And in that small group, talking about what God is teaching you through the Bible, uh, talking about what you're learning, and instructing others as you're learning and growing in those things. It might look like meeting somebody for coffee. 
uh, and talking about what God's been doing in your life and what you've been reading and the book that you've been reading through in the Bible and how that's been instructing you and helping you. It might look like getting together with somebody that's going through a trial that you've already walked through and saying, when I was in your shoes, when I went through this, this is how God was teaching me. This was what God was doing in my life and the verses he was speaking to me through and strengthening and encouraging me. It might look like showing up on Sunday and, and teaching kids and helping them get those building blocks of faith, getting that right foundation to set them up for a lifetime of knowing and loving God. Uh, but the Bible is clear. We are to instruct one another. Uh, who this morning are we pouring into? Who this morning is pouring into us? How are we growing and developing our faith and our understanding and knowledge and love of God? So be full of goodness. Be filled with all knowledge and go and instruct one another.